As a parent, what did your child's school do that made you say you can't be serious? 17 years ago when my daughter was 16, life was not easy. Let's put it this way the fact that we survived the year was nothing short of a miracle. I get a call the last week of school in June, asking me to come in. Okay, I came in the next day, the second to last day of school. I'm sitting with the dean and she tells me that we have a serious problem. My daughter has missed more than 100 math classes. She just didn't show up. I blinked for a moment and said let's get this straight. My daughter missed over 100 math classes and you only got around to telling me this now, when tomorrow is the last day of school? The dean stammered for a moment and I said so, let's rephrase this. You brought me down here to cover your butt before school is over because no one called me about this before. Not the teacher, not the attendance department, not you, not the assistant principal. No one. My daughter was missing every day and no one said a word. I didn't get a call or a letter home. Now let's bring my daughter in. My daughter came in and sat next to me. I asked I just found out you have over 100 cuts in your math class. Why didn't you go to math? Because the math teacher hates me. When I asked a question, she yelled at me for bothering me. So I stopped going. Then I wanted to see how long it would take for someone to notice I wasn't there. Sounds reasonable to me. When did you stop going to class? October. So, that means no one noticed October, November, December, January, February, March, April, and May that my daughter was not in math class. So, what do you want now? Well, we can't punish her since tomorrow is the last day of school. We think you should cancel her student ambassador trip. January that year, my daughter expressed a wish to apply to be a student ambassador because they were going to Australia. She needed to keep her grades up, needed a letter from the teacher saying she would be a good candidate, and a letter from the dean verifying she was keeping her grades up and being a positive leader in school. She got her letters in January, and I finished paying for the trip in May. I'm not canceling the student ambassador trip. I just finished paying for it and it's not refundable. But it only proves the point more that you didn't open a single file because you wrote the letter, approving my daughter and praising her. That was January. If you were doing your job right, you wouldn't have written that letter. I'll call them and take the letter back. The trip is next week. They aren't going to give me the money back. So unless she gets arrested, she's going. You didn't do your job right now twice. So, forget canceling the trip. You have nothing more to say about it. So she walks away with no consequences. Oh not at all. My daughter will sign up for classes and make up missing math this year. Both of them dropped their jaws. I knew there were high schools that offered night school and weekend classes. My daughter tried to protest but she saw my eyes and stopped. You skip the classes now you will make them up. I wasn't finished with the dean. Coming September, I will make random calls and visits to the school to make sure my daughter is where she's supposed to be and everyone knows it too. You aren't really going to do that, right? My daughter said. There isn't a need for that, the dean said. I am dead serious. My trust levels are zero right now. I am going to make sure things are being done right even if I have to come here every day. I'm an educator too. When a student in my building is missing, we mobilize our save team to start a search. When that child is not found I. 10 to 15 minutes we call the police. Yes my students are special needs but they are minors, just like this building. Next time a student is missing here, the words child endangerment better pop in, because that's the charge during school hours. I told the dean I was signing my daughter out for the rest of the day. She and I got in the car and of course she was angry. How could I embarrass her like that? Girl you're lucky you're not on the moon right now. When you were having a problem with your math teacher back in October, why didn't you tell me? I would have filed a complaint and had you switched. The problem wouldn't have happened. You didn't make a good choice cutting that class. You should have figured it was going to come back and bite you. We will sign up for your math class in a school that does night classes and make it up. My daughter wasn't happy but she knew she was wrong. She did attend a night school and ace that class. She liked that school so much, she took earth science there too and got an A as well. She couldn't attend there for day classes because it wasn't our home zone school. In the end, my daughter did thank me for setting her on the right road of learning. As a side note, I pulled out the old report cards and that math teacher gave my daughter B's in a class she didn't attend. I found out that September that teacher was no longer there.